make it really really clear this is very very important learn from it 50 minute make a new low this is the area which is the exact same area right here okay and then you go short would be right here your stop loss will be right here so this is your risk this much and look at this reward right like reward like this much What's up everyone, Ali here from Solid Trades. So welcome to part two where I'm going to be sharing my top three trend line trading secrets that I learned after taking thousands of trades and finally becoming consistently profitable. Now, if you're struggling as a trader, I promise and guarantee if you implement these things right away in your trading, if you're not already, you will become highly successful and profitable. If you're not following me for a while, my goal of this YouTube channel is to help struggling traders become independently profitable without relying on anyone in anyone else's signal or their mercy, right? And become um, educated themselves. So if you like this content, subscribe and follow along. And thank you for asking for part two and those of you who liked my previous video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Number one is, or number four, if you've watched my previous video, is 15 minute candle to make a new low. So what I mean by that is notice here how there's a trend break right here right a uh, trend break right here there's a trend forming and then there's a break however it broke and then it did not work and actually went up so notice if you have gotten short right here this wouldn't have worked and you would have actually ended up losing money right however the reason why this trend didn't work is because the 15 minute candle was really strong so here's what i need what i'm we need to look for so notice here i have one minute chart here, Tesla and 15 minute chart. So on the 15 minute chart, that's what I always talk about is looking at the longer time frame free period. The one minute chart is only good for entries, but you always make your thesis from a bigger time frame. So the bigger time frame notice here is that at this area right here, on the 15 minute is still very, very strong. Notice a green candle, green candle, green candle, still uptrending, right? So it is still the so the trend break at this area is very highly unlikely to work. Doesn't mean it's not gonna work, but it's very, very highly unlikely. Now notice here what I mean by 15 minute candle to make a new low, which is the most important part, is notice here right here. This is the first 15 minute candle make a new low. So I'm going to explain this here. So for this candle, the 15 minute low is this for this candle, the 15 minute, the low of this candle is this. So for this candle, the low of this and every single time each candle previous one, the next one is breaking the high and not the low. Okay. So this is the first time notice here, this is the low and this candle breaks the low and then it goes down, which is also the same exact area of the trend break. Notice right here. So it breaks the low and also there's a trend break at the same time. Notice how here, so you got a confirmation number one and then confirmation number two. So you have two different types of trader are trading at the same time and they're looking for exact same moves. So anybody who is long and they're thinking, oh, it's 15 minutes, make a new low, they're gonna cut their loss or they're gonna take their profit. At the same time, people who are looking for sure, like me, we're gonna show right here. So it creates extra selling pressure, which makes this trend work really, really well. So notice here, low of the 15 minute candle, entry at the break of it, okay? So here, it was still really strong, but here, notice here, this it made the new low, and the low of this candle, so I'm gonna make it really, really clear. This is very, very important. Try it in your, look at it, go through charts and learn from it. 15 minute make a new low. This is the area, which is the exact same area right here. Okay. And then you go short would be right here. Your stop loss will be right here. So this is your risk this much and look at this reward, right? Like reward like this much, right? So 15 minute candle to make a new low. First 15 minute candle make a low. First means that this is the first time it's making the new low. Before ones are all making new highs, highs, highs. Now it worked the same way on the other side as well. So notice here, there's a trend break right here or the trend break you can, I, I'm gonna draw as best as I can, but notice here the trend break right here, which is also the 15 minute candle to make a new high. So this was an entry right here and then it went up until it makes a new low and then you get out. So you take profit this much. 
So that's number one. Number two is trend break from resistance. So again, first I'm going to show you what did not work so you can actually resonate with it. So notice here there's a really nice trend forming, right? There's a trend forming right here and then it breaks right here. So you think, oh my God, it's going to now turn down. And then as soon as you enter short, right, or you cover your profits, it rips back up and you're like, what? Right? Why? But then there's another trend break right here like this. This one worked beautifully and it just failed. What's the difference? The difference is that trend break from resistance. So you first you need to look for the resistance. Where's the resistance? The trend break works the best when it's hitting the resistance and then breaking the trend break at the same time. It works the same way on the opposite side or on the long side or on the short side. It works the same way, depending what kind of market you are in, environment. If you're in the weak market, it's gonna work on the short side. If you're in the positive market or a very strong market, it's gonna work on the long side. So let's look at here what I'm talking about. Trend break from resistance. Notice here, there's a pre-market resistance right here. If I draw a line, it comes exactly right here. So now the stock has hit the resistance and it's showing weakness, which is by tails. So now if you draw a trend line, boom, amazing, amazing short. So hit the trend. So now you have, you know that there's a resistance on top and then on top of it, there's a trend break. Now, by the way, it's just for the sake of this uh, example, I did not, I wanted to show the resistance part, but on the 15 minutes, if you look at it, it's also making a new low as well. So there's three different um, variables all aligning at the same time, which means lots of different types of trader are all aligning at the same time. That's why you get an amazing, amazing move. Okay, so look, beautiful, and you're short, your risk is this much. All right, so make sure the trend break is from the resistance resistance right here okay so that's number two and your stop loss will be right above so entry right here stop loss right here always have a stop loss guys like if you are entering if you want to be in this game for a long term stop loss is very very important number third is if the stock is in play this is one of the most important so what i mean by stock is in play is that it has a huge range Okay, huge range means so for example, look at this Tesla right here. The low of this is just one day. Okay, just the whole action is for the one day. The notice is 710 is the low and the high is 735 or 736 or whatever, right? So it's about $25. It moved in one day, right? Even if you catch $10 of the move, you can make your living out of it, right? Now, if, if, the, if Tesla only moves like $1, like instead of doing this, it just does this, it just does this, there's just no way to make money, right? So it has to have a huge range. So that's what I mean by stock and play. It's just not the only thing that we call a stock and play. A stock and play really means that it's playable, right? You can play it and make money out of it. So it needs to be a stock and play. Other feature for it to be a stock and play is that it has a news catalyst. So for example, again, I'll give you an example of Tesla. If Tesla is coming out with a new car or has earnings that day, it's definitely going to have a really big move that day, right? So it's going to be a stock and play there too. So if it has a news catalyst, that's called stock and play. Hot sector. So if the stock is in really hot sector, for example, right now, oil is in a very hot sector. So you can play oil stocks like OXY, Oxy, right? It's, I, it's in my watch list. I post daily watches, by the way, in my Discord channel for free before the market opens to see all. And I add all the stocks that are actually in play that day so that you can actually take those stocks in play. So I put all the stocks that have huge range, that have news catalysts, hot sector, I do my research and I make a watch list. And that's what's very, very important to have a watch list because if the stock is not moving, you're not gonna make money. And this, by the way, all of it gives you a reason for people to watch that stock, right? So this basically all it is is that people who, people are the one who move the stock. If I buy it, it's going to help the stock to go up. If I sell it, it's going to help a little bit to go down. No, it doesn't really matter if you buying a very small amount, but eventually if you get big, it's going to affect the market, right? So reason is that people are, it's people who move the stock, right? So you want to have more and more reasons for people to watch that particular stock. That's why it's going to be a stock in play. That's the overall idea. So if for any reason you think, okay, this is why people are going to watch this stock is most likely going to move that day. Then is volume. So if the volume, basically same thing that 
if more people are watching, there's going to be more volume in the stock. So it's going to be easier for you to get in and get out. Once you get big, you know, if you have like 10,000 shares, 12,000 shares, it's going to cost, it's going to be very easy for you to get in and get out because there's lots of volume. There's a lot of people willing to buy your shares, right? So it's very important to be in stock in play. Now I'm going to end this video by saying that no matter one of my, men my mentor told me this, no matter how amazing a trader you are, if your stock doesn't move, you will never make money. So no matter how amazing you are, no matter how you have learned everything, you watch all the videos, you have done all the hard work. If the stock does not move and you buy, you're not going to make money, right? So it's extremely important to be in stock and play. So that's how I'm going to end this video. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, if you want to watch live trading videos, let me in the comment below and I'll do those as well. All right, guys, take care. Peace. Bye.